hari kedua kunjungannya di Republik Fiji, Presiden SBY dijadwalkan menghadiri pembukaan Pacific Islands Development Forum tahun 2014 yang diadakan di Seraton Fiji Resort. Dalam kesempatan itu, Presiden SBY dipercayakan menyampaikan keynote speech sebagai pembicara kunci untuk membuka forum pembangunan negara-negara kepulauan Pasifik tersebut. Kepercayaan tersebut diberikan atas dasar keberhasilan Presiden SBY memimpin Indonesia yang di dalamnya sudah banyak mencapai keberhasilan dalam pembangunan Indonesia. Selain juga selalu aktif dalam forum-forum internasional. Dan menjadi catatan tersendiri bahwa Presiden SBY adalah sosok yang sukses dalam meniti karirnya baik di bidang militer maupun menjadi seorang politikus. Some of it very familiar to you given your long and distinguished career in the Indonesian military before your transition into your equally distinguished political career and onwards to presidency. Thank you, Your Excellency, for the many trade delegates you brought with you, which has also given allowed, has allowed members of governments and delegates present the opportunity for bilateral engagement during this forum. Whilst your long term as president is coming to an end, we know your efforts to continue to champion a better world for the future will continue. We note that Time magazine listed you amongst the top 100 influential men in the world in 2009. Mr. President, with your 250 million citizens spread out across 13,500 islands in the Indonesian archipelago, you represent the most populous nation in our immediate region, as well as the most influential on the global stage. Indeed, you are one of the only three leaders appointed by the United Nations to the high-level panel advising it on the global development agenda beyond 2015. This makes you uniquely qualified to help steer our discussions at this forum, whether together where together we are setting sustainable development goals for our own region. We certainly look forward to the insights you will bring us in your opening address. Mr. President, for 10 years, you have also presided over and strengthened the development of a genuine democracy in Indonesia. This is a singular achievement. And you have done so as a strong advocate of ethnic and religious tolerance and harmony in the world's largest Islamic country in a circular state. Fiji regards Indonesia as a close friend and a valued development partner. And we see you as an important ally in our joint effort to improve the lives of the people of developing countries the world over, whether it is through the United Nations, the G77 plus China, or the non-aligned movement of which Indonesia was a founding member. Dalam pidatonya, Presiden SBY menyampaikan kesan positif atas pelaksanaan PIDF 2014 dengan nuansa kesetaraan sebagai sesama negara yang saling mendukung satu dengan yang lainnya. It is a great honor and privilege for me to join you in beautiful Nandi today. I am honored to be the first Indonesian president to visit Fiji and the South Pacific region. This is indeed very much in line with my commitment for the past decade to deepen and strengthen relations with this important region. Let me also extend my highest appreciation to my colleagues and friend, Prime Minister Baini Marama for inviting me to address this Pacific Islands Development Forum Second Leaders Meeting as Chief Guests. On this occasion, allow me to share my thought on three main points. First, on the theme of this summit, green growth in the Pacific, building resilient sustainable futures and genuine partnership. Second, on what Indonesia has done and can do in support of the PIDF goals. And third, my observation 
on the current geopolitical situation at regional and global levels that could affect not only the PIDF in pursuing its noble goals, but also the international community at large. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, the leaders of Fiji and the Pacific Islands countries are indeed rendering a great service to the peoples of our region by establishing the PIDF. Without doubt, this further strengthens the existing regional cooperative framework. I commend you for your foresight, wisdom, and leadership in establishing such a forum. The theme of this year's summit is indeed timely. It is a relevant topic for both the Pacific Islands countries and Indonesia as an archipelagic country. Usai menyampaikan pidatonya, Presiden SBY melakukan pertemuan bilateral dengan Presiden Republik Nauru, Baron Divafesi Waka, dan Presiden Republik Kiribati, Anotetong. 